In this video, we're putting together the Primaris Lieutenant from the Indomitus box set. Welcome back to the Winter Disco Tabletop Gaming Channel, where we look at everything Warhammer 40,000, Age of Sigma, Dungeons and the Dragons, and a whole bunch of other stuff. And we are getting through the Indomitus box set. Today, in this video, we are doing the Primaris Lieutenant, or I'm going to call it the Blade Guard Lieutenant. I think they're all part of the Blade Guard. So here we go. This is the instructions. Fairly straightforward, to be honest, which is kind of cool. Um, I feel like a straightforward one at the moment. Um, <laughs> I was up late watching the latest reveal for Games Workshop on the Indomitus launch day, and I'm a little sleepy because in Australia it's up super late, but it happens. So, yeah, it all comes on a single sprue, which is awesome. I like it. Um, super simple which gives me the feeling that you may be able to buy this in the future, although it does come attached to this guy, which is the Royal Warden. Yes, I'm pretty sure this is the Royal Warden. I can't remember the names right now. Just having one of those, one of those forgetful mornings, afternoons now. So let's get into it. So I'll bring the instructions back. So first up, um, let's construct the body. So we need C1, C2, C3. And if you are new to this video, uh, these this is basically a build along, I guess I'm calling it, type series where I build the models in the box and you can build along as well. Um, and if you are enjoying the series, I hope you are, definitely leave me a comment door on the bottom and um, yeah, we can have a chat. But yeah, I like doing this um, simply because when I did the, oh, the, uh, Illuminor Xeras model. I had some pointers on there and a few people commented saying like, thanks for that because it actually was really helpful when they were putting it together because I had a few issues with some of the parts because um, there were some fiddly bits in there. Okay, don't cut off the uh, little pegs at the moment because we need those pegs to plug in. It's a little bit messy there, but it's fine we can clean that up. And then we need C3, which is the bulk of the body. So I hope you are doing well. And it looks like, um, it looks like that's a bit of a peg there. I'm not sure, so I won't cut it off yet. No, I don't think it is. I think it's part of the sprue. That's fine. We'll cut it off. It's gonna hit the floor anyway, so that is okay. And even on this one, there is that little peg in the bottom which goes into the, uh, what are they called, the bases which is what I need to get, I'm going to base. Oh goodness, it's so disorganized. I was definitely not ready for this. Oh my God, it's been a day. All right, so 40 mil base. Um, these bases have the two holes in it, which is a little unusual. Yeah, I think that's, for me, that's a little strange. I haven't looked at any more, but um, like the units, but it looks like the characters at least all have these uh, special peg holes, which is a little strange. So could indicate something, I don't know what, but that's fine. So let's clean this model up a bit. So there's a few spots you don't really need to clean. Like you don't particularly need to clean this section, but it doesn't hurt to do that. So normally I'll just start looking for um, the sprue, uh, the sprue contact points. Oh, this is gonna be bad. I messed that up a bit. <laughs> and then I'll go back to the mold lines because you gotta remove the mold lines. It's only right to do that. You gotta do these models justice. And I guess it really depends how you paint as well. If you dry brush, you definitely do pick up the mold lines. Um, so you definitely something to be careful of. So I just put up a video for the latest uh, launch day, when Dominus launch day reveals. They did a stream overnight like I was talking about and yeah, did some of the reveals and there's some cool models in there. I'm very interested in the Death Guard model that you only get two shots of. I think that was definitely my favorite of there. Um, so if you haven't seen that video, you can check out that on the channel. I might put a card up on the top if I remember. 
I mean, I'm trying to keep these videos what's called evergreen. Oh, I should mention it is absolutely pouring at the moment. So you may hear rain in the background. I'm not sure how bad it's going to be, but I want to get through all these models. So I'm excited. So I want to give them a paint. Um, yeah, but it is, because it's raining, it is a very lovely day for, oh dear, um, very lovely day for hobbying. But I've already cut this up in a bad way. I don't think my knife is sharp enough. I think I might need to change the blade, which is what I'll do. Always change your blades, people. Um, always have spare blades. So if you haven't seen one of these, they come like this in to a little bit. It's kind of a bit oily, but that's fine. So let's pull out a new blade. And this is how I cut myself. Basically, um, yeah, it's always, 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 always beneficial to have a sharp blade. Blunt knives are no good. They're not a hobbying friend. And that's it. Oh, I knocked. Oh, I keep knocking the camera. Let's keep that still. Okay, so now we have a sharp blade. So that should. Ah, uh, that actually feels a lot better. You can tell the difference straight away. So now I've got a bit of a gouge in there. I'm not sure if you can really see. You should be able to. Um, so there's a little bit of a gouge right in the middle there, but. To be honest, I think that's going to be fine. We can say, oh yeah, it's just a bit of bit of the leather. Which actually makes sense when you look at the arm. There is a little bit of a, um, I guess the cartridge of the Volkite pistol. That makes sense that it's like that. So going through, that seems to be everything there. Oh, that's one at the bottom. So it always pays to check. So I still haven't decided what um, chapter I'm going to paint at this stage. Um, I just don't, I'm just not 100% sure. All right. So if you have any suggestions, definitely leave a comment. I'm leaning towards Blood Angels, but I think I may just go Ultramarines. Slightly different color ultramarine, like a darkish, very more dark blue. I don't know, we'll see. So head goes in there and the two pegs. Pretty simple stuff. So we can see here, um, you have two pegs and the two holes and then the head. So what I normally do, and I've mentioned this before if you've seen the other videos, I clip a little bit of the peg off, um, sometimes a little more depending on the contact points because they're generally a pretty tight fit and um, if you have too much glue in there there's no space for the glue there's nowhere for it to go so it just builds up in pressure and you can't actually close it and always test fit so looks like there is you can't quite see it in here maybe you can there is a little uh, sphere in there and there's also a little sphere on the head so that uh, slides right into there so that will be all good and dandy. So let's put that together. I have to say, putting models together is, there it goes. Oh, it just slides right in. No problem at all. And you can feel it. With the push beat ones, you can just feel it go right in. So that's good. Um, yeah, putting together models is one of my favorite parts of the hobby by far. I have tons of models that I have not painted and maybe we'll never paint but one of my aims this year and with this channel is to actually paint models okay so we do have the two holes there so it should be no problem going together yeah and it just slots right in so it looks like you can see what i mean by the pressure sometimes it just doesn't go together properly so i'm going to give that a hold for a second before we continue on so the next thing we need to do so we've got the body together that's the first step. Um, what I will do is I'll leave the shield for now. Um, I'll do that in the last step. But what I'll do now, I'll put the arm and the blade on. And it looks like I have to put the blade on first before then and the backpack. And then we can put the other bits and pieces on. So this one's actually a pretty straightforward model. I mean, if you wanted to change the head direction, you can cut it. You can put the body together and then cut the little knob off the head. So on here, 
show you on here, there is, um, like I said, you have this little section there, and that's what um, locks into a little um, knob in there. But you can cut that bit off, put the two bodies together, and then face it any way you want. I think that would be kind of cool. Pretty interesting face, because his arm will be facing out that way, and he's looking where he's aiming, but I think it would be cool if he was facing the other way and just shooting off into a random direction. That would be kind of cool. So let's get his arm out. So with the Volkite pistol. Now the question is, a very important question here, do we drill the barrel holes? And this one actually looks really difficult, so I am not going to. I'm, to be honest, I know people go, you've got to drill the barrel holes, you've got to do it, how can you have them done? You, that's just, uh, and they lose it, but you know what? I always seem to make the problem worse by having a drill hole there. It doesn't look straight, it's not aligned. Sometimes I dig it in at an angle and it just rips it up. So I think it's somewhat better. Ah, okay, I think I wrecked that a bit. Oh well, so yeah, that came out of the sprue a bit weird. So I think it's that bit there where my thumb is. I think I chopped a bit of the shoulder pad shoulder off. Oh well. That's fine, we'll just tidy it up and you do it. You can always try some green stuff to fix that, but I'm generally not going to. Although I do want to do a few videos on green stuff. Um, particularly shoulder pads, so doing adding uh, green stuff like this. I'm sorry that the camera's rocking around. I need to attach it to a different table so it doesn't rock, but you know, we're still still working out this setup for doing miniature work, but we're getting there. So the mold lines on this model are actually pretty good. It looks like they're being well placed, um, and you really can't pick any up. Okay, so it's not like that. So it goes like that, and it should s slide straight in. So I'm not even gonna. Oh yeah, it does slide straight in. So I'm gonna chop the bit of the uh, knob again. With that and with the glue, I'm actually going to stick it in there. And looks like we can do a little bit more. Okay, let's stick that in there. So there we go. It didn't quite slide in properly, but it just sort of it grips at that stage. You can move it around, but it hits a bit where it grips. So it's not too bad. So this is what I was saying before. You'd be firing off in one direction, and then he's facing the other direction. I think that'd be kind of funny. Okay, so let's put the... Mm, let's do the sword first. So I feel like the backpack with the iron halo could be a little problematic. Could get in the way a bit. So this model's coming together pretty quickly. I do like putting the character models together because you can be like, yeah, I've got a model done. I don't have to do any more of that type of model. But I am excited to do the units. Although sometimes it gets a bit tedious. So again, the mold lines on this one are pretty good. I think with mold lines, it will vary depending on what one you get. But generally, um, I haven't had any complaints about this. You do get some where the mold lines are just absolutely disgusting. But overall, I find Games Workshop stuff doesn't really have that much of an issue. I might come in with a bit of a file this time. So I do have a selection of different files and bits and pieces just to um, do a few things here and there. So the sword slides in. Hmm. So it's just meant to slide in, but I don't want to stick it in yet um, because I don't want it to get stuck. So we'll drop a bit of glue in there as well. And it needs to go off on the side a bit. This one's a little slippery. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, yeah, it's just, it just slots right in. No issue there at all. No problem. That was actually super easy. Just went straight in. Okay. Um, I'm just deciding. Yeah, I'm gonna put the backpack on now, I think. I think that's probably the way to go. Okay, we are getting there. So again, this model is extremely straightforward. 
I think you just got to watch out for a few things like um, getting this shot, this arm off. I seem to cut a little bit in there, but for the most part, it was pretty good. Obviously, we're not finished yet, but we're going to get there. Oops, I should actually put this on camera, that would be nice. That's fine, I can always come back and fix up this bit um, if it's feeling a bit too rough and not very flat. But honestly, you can see some more line on there, but at this stage, I think that's fine. Okay, so this will slide in. So you can see in the back, it there is a spot there for it, but it's not just an empty hole like the sword was. So I'm actually gluing, um, putting glue into the body itself and then we'll slide that in. And it's gonna go in, there it goes. And I hit the arm as well, so. <laughs> okay. And that's straight, isn't it? Yeah, this one sort of locks into place. Oh, sorry. I will get this organized one day and do it properly. Okay, so we're getting there. And his arm's falling off again. I might put a little bit more glue where his arm is. I think there might be a little bit of an issue there. Oh yeah, the knob came off completely. Okay. So we're just gonna hold that there for a second or two and get through. I'm just looking at the instructions now. So we will put the, uh, the you know what? What I might do first, I might actually put him in his base. So the instructions say put the arm on next, the um, C4 and C7, but I'm going to put him in his base and that way we can actually hold it down and put the arm on. I think that might work a bit better. Yep, let's do that. So we need to go to this one. Okay. So on the base here, we've got the two holes, one peg, and that will slide in there. So what we'll do Put some glue on the feet, if I can get it in the right shot. So this will, oh goodness. <laughs> Sorry, I keep hitting the camera. What a shambles this is. And then, there we go, okay. So you kind of feel it go in. And there is a hole at the back that it says to put some debris in. So we might as well do the debris now, which is a little Necron skull. And there's really no sprue line on here. That's actually really nice. Cool. A little bit more glue on here. Uh, I can see why I'm knocking the camera. It's definitely a lot closer than it was um, before. And I should have put the head in first. Crap, how do I get this in here now? Okay. Luckily, I have some tweezers. And oh, let's see if we can get it in. It's kind of halfway in. Okay, so it's around the wrong way, but at the moment, I don't really care. I just want to get it in there. Okay, so we have a head in there. Um, I think even if you faced it forward, it would be really difficult to see anyway. So we can have it facing that way, that's fine. <laughs> so let's do We'll put the um, shoulder guard on first. Get that piece in nice and quick. Bring him back in. So let me know if you think this camera angle is a bit weird. I'm not 100% sold on it. Um, I think it could be better if it was more facing that way a bit. Not facing down as much. That's what I'm trying to say. All right, I didn't test this one, but that's fine. We're just gonna push it in and it just goes in. I kind of knew this one would go in straight, not an issue at all. So there we go, we're getting there, we're getting there. So now the arm, so like I was doing this, it's um, out of order of what they're saying, how to do it in the instructions, but I think this might be a little bit easier because um, you're not going to have all these parts 
they're not flimsy parts, but they're parts that um, may not go together well if it, there's no stable base to it. So for example, I'm thinking the, um, after you've got the, what's it called, shield attached, it may have a problem like being able to hold it, like you have to let it set, let the glue set so it's pretty rigid on there. And I don't know if that's, you know, it's not really time efficient. All right, so I'm gonna chop a bit of this arm off so we can get some, that bit went flying almost out the window. <laughs> nice. So I'm gonna put the glue in the arm itself this time. And so I should have test fit it and I didn't, but it looks like, hmm, interesting. I feel like I've made a mistake here. So much for that. <laughs> um, oh, okay, so it sits just on, does it? This is so confusing. Seems to sit. I'm just trying to look at the picture. Oh, there it is. Okay. So it was a little strange, but it seems to sit. I thought it was sitting on the um, handle of the blade, but it seems to sit next to it rather than on it. So that's okay. We'll get there. That hand is a little messy, but it's something that we don't really have to deal with too much. And this is the last one. So we're doing shield. So the shield is piece C7 if you are playing along at home and it comes out pretty easy. A little bit of a clean up, but nothing too much. Oops. So yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Definitely um, leave me a comment if you have. because I'm doing the whole Indominus box set like this unless people want something a bit more I don't know detailed a bit more edited down but this is just a way that I can get these uh, videos out without having to spend too much time because I've got a full-time job and I don't have time to edit down crazy crazy things like this all right that's it's not amazingly tidy. Oops. Oh my god. The camera. The camera is way too close. Um, we will fix that up for the next video, I think. And that will do. So, this just slides on. Um, I'm just going to glue it on with all of that. There's, there's enough contact there. That should be fine and I probably should cut it down but I'm not going to. So I want to make sure I get that in correctly. Actually there's a few more contact points. So on the top of the hand and the bottom of the hand as well. So it might be a bit too much glue. There we go. Okay so now it's all stuck in there and there we go. Let's make some room. So yeah pretty straightforward model this left hand it. Very nice. I Something's not quite right with that arm, I think, because it seems to just fall down. I think I need to, I think it's best just leave that arm a little bit longer. Um, but overall, it's a very fine model. I do like it. So yeah. I hope you found that easy to put together. It wasn't too bad at all. And I'll just bring the captain in to see what it looks like. So there we go. Captain and the left hand it next to each other. You just have a much bigger shield when you compare them together. There you go. Good times. So yeah, definitely leave a comment um, and a like and let me know how you're going with the Indominus box set. And if you do like these videos, uh, please do subscribe because we've got plenty more coming out. So thank you for watching and until next time, I will catch you later.